My grandmother always used to tell me to preserve myself mentally, emotionally, and spiritually because the world has a way of beating you down. I never quite understood what she meant until I grew older, but with time, I learned to apply her advice in most situations, testing my resolve and character. The extent of her advice made more sense than ever when she died suddenly, exactly a year ago. When she died, my grief overcame me and I lost my purpose and I wondered when I'd ever find my footing again. Carif was one of those things. It was difficult to put it aside, but I had to. Ever since its inception in 2013, Carif was not only my brainchild, but my daily source of inspiration. It stopped becoming the dream that yanked at me at night and propelled me to move forward. My dream of creating a digital experience that would leverage community-based opinion and refine beauty expertise to create personalized curation was a reality that I just had to suspend in time. Time flowed and evolved and so did I. Eventually, I woke up, applied my makeup, and headed out into the streets, absorbing admiration, but slowly building a renewed focus on living and serving. So here we are, a year later, with a much clearer mind and a vision greater than ever before. To get lost is to learn the way, is as one African proverb says it, and it's true. The goal continues to build the most comprehensive guide to brown beauty, ingenuity, and culture. The preservation my grandmother spoke of turned into perseverance, which became the main reason I remained committed to elevating the stories of the beauty brands that create products that speak to our individuality and our aspirations in life. Preservation equals perseverance. And this isn't just the play at words. It's what happened to me. So never forget, the story continues.